The 10,000 hour rule is a rule that basically states if you do something for 10,000 hours, you're going to become a master of it. This is wrong. There's many examples of this where people become a master with much less hours than 10,000. And there's many examples of people doing something for over 10,000 hours and they're still nowhere near the top. A lot of people are quick to say that, oh, this is because it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And it is true that quality is important, but quantity is also quite important. Uh, my dad used to tell me it was both quality and quantity that uh, impacted how good you got at something. And I've got to agree with him, and I think you can formalize it a bit more and say it is quantity times quality. When I say quality, I mean a percentage. I mean a number between 0 and 1. Like, you know, 80% is 0.8, 20% is 0.2. And I think you need to multiply uh, the amount of time you spend doing something by this quality to find out how much time you actually invested in the thing. Because there are people that, there are two people, say, say a person A and a person B. They might do 10,000 hours, I don't know, doing golf, right? If person A is just casually playing, they don't really care about improving, they might have a quality of around 0.2 or 20%. So their 10,000 hours goes to around 2,000 sort of training value hours, for lack of a better term. And person B, they might be really focused on improving. They want to be the best. So they might do all of their training, the, sorry, they might do all their playing golf at a sort of training level, so 10,000 hours, and they might do that at an 80% quality, so 0.8. So 10,000 times 0.8 is 8,000. So you can see here that they may have started at the same level, but play, uh, like golfer B has sort of got a training value of 8,000. Well, uh, person A only has a training value of 2,000. This is important because many people's circumstances are different and their quality versus quantity ratio is very different between people. There are people who have all the time in the world to dedicate to what they want to do. You know, we're talking about people that aren't in education, aren't in employment, aren't in training. They just have the whole year to spend, I don't know, playing video games or racing around race car tracks. So they have a lot of quantity and you'll find that they spend a lot of time just doing the stuff that they like doing. However, they do occasionally get beaten by people who have full-time jobs and are only able to train after work or on the weekends. And this is because these people who are sort of living, I want to say, degenerate lifestyles. That's really what it is. I don't hate them. I think it's fucking good if you can do it, but they are sort of degenerate lifestyles. They sort of get into degenerate abilities and degenerate thinking, and that sort of lowers their overall quality of their training. Meanwhile, these people that work full-time jobs, you know, they're multi sort of, they're, they're learning stuff in their job and they might be applying it to their games. And they know that they only have limited time, so they're really making sure they get the most out of their time instead of just being like, oh, well, I'll be able to play six hours tomorrow. No, they're focused on that time. So they really increase their quality. So it's worth understanding where you are. Are you lacking quantity or are you lacking quality? And you should bring it up as much as you can. Of course, like if you're at work, you can't really increase quantity, although I will talk about how you actually can later. And if you are someone who just definitely has the quantity but you're not seeing the improvements that you'd like you should try increasing your quality now as for increasing quality there's a number of ways to do that however the best one is going to be making sure that you are in a physically good state so that means physically fit and healthy and fully recovered you don't want this massive ass eight hour session because you're gonna probably get tired during that you want to take regular breaks and you want to be well rested, uh, have a good diet, good nutrition, also be doing physical activity and exercise. All these things will just generally improve your quality in every domain, and that includes the domain that you're trying to focus on. You can also increase your quality by uh, tapping into the mental side of when you are doing these activities. Turn it into not just doing the activity or playing the activity, but actually training in the activity. Have specific goals, uh, have specific tests or test periods or ways of plotting how you're going over time so you can track your progress and have a sort of program or a training plan that you are following as well to make sure that you are hitting and tapping on the sort of things that are important. And then you've got other sort of niche ways of increasing quality such as, uh, you know, like drugs or supplements. 
you know, you can imagine if you were trying to increase athletic performance or your ability to train more, then, you know, caffeine might be able to keep you more concentrated or awake for longer. And, you know, things like pre-workout gives you a bit more energy. And then you've also got, you know, you start getting into crazy stuff like, uh, you know, brain simulation where they zap your head so more brain waves get sent. But ideally, if you want to improve quality, improve your life quality. Uh, so that's, you know, sleep, nutrition, recovery, rest. And then with your actual training, have a bit more of a focus on that. Really hone in on I'm trying to do something specific and really try to focus individual things like your weakness and stuff like that. And then if you've got additional time and resources, you can always look to, you know, zapping your brain with TDCS. Now, quantity is the one that many people think that they don't actually have control over. However, there are ways to subtly increase quantity, albeit it will be at a low quality level. However, it's free. This is time that you wouldn't, you wouldn't have gotten any quantity here at all. So it's better to get some quantity at a really low level than no quantity at all. And there are ways you can do this. Um, of course, if you think about something like, you know, doing golf, right? You obviously can't do golf when you're at work. However, when you are at work, you can review what you did last golf session. You can start thinking about, all right, well, here's what I did. Here's what I do differently and all that sort of stuff. I'll, I'll stop using golf. I'll use, I'll use the example of a race car driver. You want to get better at racing. Um, so maybe during your lunch break, instead of just, you know, eating lunch or doing whatever you could watch guides or videos or watch other people race. Um, you know, listen, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of racing, you know, watch, uh, skip barbers going faster on YouTube during your lunch break, really sort of take notes and get invested in that as well. And then you've also got the idea of visualization, which, you know, a lot of, um, people in the sort of, you know, you hear Conor McGregor talking about it as well. sort of being able to visualize is almost as good as just doing the thing itself. And there's another thing with um, sort of not getting enough quantity is that I know, and I'm a big, uh, I've fallen for this as well. It's just, it's just like you start focusing quality over quantity. And what I mean by that is if you had 10 hours to dedicate to improving quality or improving quantity, how would you spend that? And it really depends on like how much quality you would be getting. But I find that there's a lot of times where I'm increasing quality when realistically it's not giving me enough of an ex you know, I might only be going up by 0.01 quality when it might take 10 hours. I would be better off spending that 10 hours doing what I actually want to train. So that's just quality. It's not quality. It's not quantity. It is both. And it's in the form of quantity times quality. And that's really more important than the 10,000 hour rule.